Vaping. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, we are live. Ahoy, ahoy. It's our gander. Ahoy, ahoy. It's Zug, look at that. Zug's actually made it to a Sunday paint stream. He's not managed to get any painting done though. I'm sure he'll tell us all about the tale of um, what the hell's going on in his paint configuration. Oh, it should be here tomorrow, man. What, what have you actually bought then? Uh, so I bought a clamp and clamp. a... Give Bring it clamps. the clamps. <laughs> Ahoy, Frost. Um, Ahoy. Ahoy. And a... Uh, three-point articulated arm to mount the camera too. That'd be useful because you haven't got a three-point articulated arm in real life. Nope. Man. Uh, okay, so this is the chat we are painting today. Well, we're not actually painting like him four times. So, um, I'm going to try what Carol's talking about your camp in a bit and it's me. let me just phase up so I can start painting so yep. <laughs> I'm going to paint these guys but I'm going to try like an alternative way of doing bone bone I'm going to do um, I'm going to undercoat them in a Rhinox hide for a recess mm -hmm. shade then dry brush them with still legion drab then rack our flesh I, I figured it'll be something different to try see what it looks like yeah so um but anyway, so you bought a three-point articulated arm. What do you do with that? Is that like for attaching it to your... Are you going to attach it to your desk? Yeah. Well, but at the back of the outside. desk... Yeah. So, you know, basically the things that our microphones are on, like the boom arms. Uh, yes, I'm aware of this. It's like that, but uh, far heavier and more stable. Does it come with an arm? No, you have, you, I bought the arm separately and the clamp. So you bought an arm, a clamp, or is the three-point thing a clamp? The arm. Yeah, three-point articulated <laughs> arm is the is the it's arm. The arm. Oh, fair enough. That makes more sense in my mind now. That it's actually an arm. So, yeah, I'm doing this Rhinox High thing. I saw a video on the internet. On the internet. Yeah. And I don't know, it might be all right. Something different anyway. I could just paint a more shabbily bone and just like, or like, you know, and then just wash them and do it that way. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put more effort in to these guys. It doesn't have to be super oh. coveragey. I'm trying out uh, Duncan's new method on the... Uh, Deathwing Terminators. So I'm using his uh, paint range, but it's basically like a shabty bone or wraith bone. Right. And then you paint over them with Skeleton Horde, the contrast paint. Right. And then you basically uh, heavy dry brush over them with the base color again. And then light dry brush the next highlight. And it goes on real smooth. You mind? It's not very bright. What's going on here? Why is it not looking very bright? Apart from the front, the room is dark. Uh. That's better. I need to get some better lighting. Lighting's annoying me. Yeah, man, it's just oh, going down that rabbit hole. I mean, I don't need like super good lighting. I just need some light. Yeah, you know, it just needs to be more light than I've got at the moment. Which is, you know, not very much light. There'll be no rabbit hole here, sir. Keep on going. Just keep on going. Because I, I need something that I can move. That's what I need. I need something that I can move like into position on my desk. Because obviously, you know, this is my computer desk where I compute. Uh, I did find something quite interesting there. Uh, 
Uh, cool. Yeah, it's all right. Like I say, I think it's okay for the stream, but I, I'd like actually better lighting so I can see better. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and I presume if I can see better, that you'll be able to see even better, you know? The, the thing I found, man, is like, um, it's got two clamps on it and two poles going up and one pole across. So it's like a little square and you can hang stuff on it. All it right. is for exactly this. What? Putting lights on? And camera. Or is it made of light? No, it's it's just like a rig that you can attach lights and stuff to. All right, okay. I was like gonna go for one of those light hoops. Oh yeah, they're pretty good. Like a light hoop and then put it on my desk and then I can move it to somewhere else when I'm like, not painting at my desk. Actually, right, so my plan is to uh, have the arm in position and then never move it again. Never move your arms again. Ever. Fair enough. What Guess you what playing I'm playing there? I don't know. Diablo 4. No. I don't know. Take a guess. No. Guess. Play satisfactory. Are you? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. What What have I done? Are you actually making a factory? Because you can't just like if you're playing on your own. You yeah, can't I'm, just. Yeah, I'm starting from the beginning. Wow. That's. I'm having a. a... I'm having a fiddle around of it, man. Building like garbage factories. You should yeah, be basically. like. You should be fairly like. I don't know. You've been. You've been like. Subjected oh, no, to man. enough I... factory that you should have yeah. a pretty, pretty good idea how to build things. Oh yeah, man. It's I know how to build things. It's just I want to try and like. Figure it out just on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. That makes sense. Bear in mind, before we started live streaming, I must have played for Satisfactory like for about twenty hours on my own. So yeah, not like I'm trying to think where the light is going to kick in the best. Getting annoyed by this now. Maybe it just looks dark because I'm painting dark things. Do you not have an overhead painting lamp? No. I'm like in a dark corner of the room where my computer looks. This is a little bit more light, not like stupid amounts more, but a little bit more. Yeah. Well, we saw those uh, LED light boxes and stuff that are pretty cheap and light to put together. Yeah, I could get some strip lighting, couldn't I? Yeah. Ah, uh, here's the thing. Uh, I'm just going to send it to you in the live stream. Can you click on it from there? Yeah. Probably. Oh, it's... The fucking link is too big for the live stream, apparently. <laughs> I mean, you could just send it like one of the many other forms we have of communicating. Yeah, it's just I wanted people on the, on the stream to look at it as well. But you could, I just like, sent you on Steam. You could like put a picture of it in. No, you couldn't do a picture of it. There you go. Let's have a look. Oh my, that's quite the long. Yeah, it's a an annoyingly long link. Oh, that's far too heavy for my. I mean, that would be cool. I mean, that would be cool. It's like a big frame, like a literally yeah. a picture frame with mounty bits on it. Or oh, there's oh. a movable one. Jesus Christ, these fucking links are ridiculous. Why are they getting longer and longer? I don't know. Is that a picture of a lasagna? <laughs> yeah, this is the, the thing that... <laughs> Why would you be painting a picture? Taking pictures of lasagna.
Yeah, true. Oversaturation. I can't help but feel that my camera would like. I don't know. I could probably twiddle with the camera if it got too bright. It's all right. I guess so. I don't know. It just annoys me. You could change the aperture on the camera so less light um, is picked yeah. up from it. Yeah. I, I don't know. Just, you know. Or more light to see by. That's all. Oh, if you, man, if you want a painting lamp, I can send you something like I've got. Yeah, I think what I need is I need light coming from multiple directions. I think that's what it lacks. It needs to sort of about the level of light I've got, because that's yeah. like a lovely, lovely flesh tone. <laughs> lovely. There's a realistic flesh tone, pseudo realistic flesh tone, anyway. <laughs> um. So it looks pretty, looks all right. What? That's the problem for us. Zug doesn't actually eat. Yeah, posting pictures of his meals. He doesn't eat lasagna. Be like. I basically survive on on the the Eastern European diet, which is coffee and smoking. <laughs> Shoot, smoked. I wish I smoked still. You're not that cool anymore. Nope. Gave up the old cigarillos. Yeah. Cigarellos. That's actually a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Specific thing. See, the annoying thing is, when I can paint like these things this quickly, mm. and I want to do some dry brushing. It's still wet. Yeah. There are oh, did I tell there. you? I had to um, completely strip a repulsor executioner tank the other day you did you said you screwed it up for your incompetence yeah I, I th through my own incompetence and zeal i uh I fucked it up basically <laughs> i mean this is usually the time of the live stream where i show i've been painting <laughs> um what have i been painting this week not a lot actually mortorian is the only thing in my mortorian coming along I never paint these things on light. I never, these things are too big. So here's my mortorium. He's coming along. Not quite done yet. He is, he is quite vast. Yeah, the heavy, bro yeah, there you go. But it, yeah, it, was, it wasn't it was the heat, it was the humidity and it just, it bubbled the paint up. And um, it was the first time that's ever happened to me with the Vallejo primer. Let's see about this guy, man. Let me show you the standard unit of measurement. Where is the standard unit of measurement? I should actually have one of these on standby, shouldn't I? What, Beth Marine? Yeah, I should actually have a... Um, Your measuring, measuring Marine. Measuring Marine. I, I'll tell you what, I use this guy as a measuring Marine. I use my Space Wolf as a measuring Marine. No. Let me give him a clean, though. I'm literally just killing some time while um, <laughs> while the paint dries on the other things. The best thing, a paint stream where like you don't actually do any paint. They're the best. There you go. That's a that's Mortorian versus your standard unit. He's massive. Look how big he is. He's been eating his. He's been eating his, his weedies, hasn't he? But anyway, um, yeah, so that's that's what the off-stream project is this week. But it's got some quite cool things. This is the cool bit, because obviously I'm painting this as an assembly. This is this is like, this is obviously an assembly that I'm painting here. Look at that, his butt. Um, He's got like these little, uh, little dear, oh dear, just knock him over. But he's got some funky little nerglings, man. Funky little nerglings. They're hey, so man. cute. Everyone loves a nergling. Yeah, obviously, it's all coming along. 
Yeah, yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Not the biggest thing I painted, but he's got some lovely, lovely wings as well. His lovely wings are are not painted at all. Actually, that's not too bad. That could actually be painted on the live stream, couldn't it? What the wings? Yeah. Just look at the size. Yeah, they're not a bad size. Likes it. I do like my tiny men and things, tiny little big things. Oh yeah, the the Nerglings are like an example of a tiny man, and obviously the uh, Volt Voltons, 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 Voltons. League of Votan. Yeah, you don't call them Voltons, do you? I think they're like Votanites or something. Votanites. Yeah. I don't know. I think we're good enough to get going. We're dry enough. They've been under the fan. Under the fan. Yep. All right. So we're going to do a dry brush of steel leaves and drab. Paintbrush looks like it's going to fall to bits. Feels like it is. Right. Let's sort out things that have been loading up all sorts of windows in the background. Oh no, yeah, no, that's good. Right, so we're gonna go to Still Legion Drab and we're gonna like dry brush this things with Still Legion Drab. Mm. Um, so let's get on and do this. I can't remember of copying someone I saw on the internet. Right. This is supposed to be quite a hearty dry brush. Yeah, that was Mortorian Chaos Primark of the uh, Death Guard. Death Guard. Yeah, because remember I said that I wanted something big to paint. That was my that was my choice of big thing to paint. But by necessary, you know, they don't. I don't think they really work to be paint. You can't really paint massive things on streams. Well, you could. But I'd have to. Oh god, I'd have to do some stuff to my desk. Yeah. I might have to tidy it. I don't have a paint area that big <laughs> I say the paint area is I don't even like to think how big it is this is about the space is about what five inches by eight inches sort of like the camera lens I've I, I filmed That's looking quite nice, actually. I like that. Yeah. Good idea, random person on the internet. So these are obviously the, um, the skeletons that go in the Hero Quest box. We're making great progress on the, the Hero Quest box. We're really not. We've painted like three things. But I, I think I've only done like two paint streams since I kicked off again. So mm. it's not exactly. Uh, I've done a crazy amount of streaming. Not sure what to paint next. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. So it would need to be, and then and then and then I need to get like a if I if I had a, a more zoomed out view, then I would have to get more a more tidy desk. As much as I like the uh, chaos. Oh. Well, you wanted to do uh, corn next, didn't you? Yeah, it's true. He says, which flying in the face of painting Death Guard, but you know, don't let that stop me. I suppose so. 
I suppose I could get an Angron or something like that. Or I could get the Combat Patrol. Yeah, I well, that's what I was And the Jackals and things. I've got a lot of these. I've got a lot of this to do, though. I do want to get this done. This is like a. I feel. I feel like this is a good project. I like this because I tell you why I like this because there's enough. I think there's quite a bit of variety in this project. Yeah. That's why I like it. I think this is actually something I could actually because there's bookcases and stuff to go. There's furniture and all sorts of stuff to be painted as well. So it's not. Like Are you just uh, modern. starting to change out your own furniture for the tiny furniture? I've already done it, man. Good. I'm, I'd actually have to stop using the furniture. I don't have an anger on yet. <clears throat> Not yet. I could get an anger on and paint it in blue. Oh. <laughs> Think what the community would say. Make sure I do a lot of thick dry, uh, layers on it. Lots of thick edge highlights. No, oh yeah, man. Right. Nice and relaxing. I do like a bit of dry brushing. I don't really dry brush that much anymore. Uh, it's got its place in the arsenal, man. Uh, I should have tried some slap chop. I should go out and buy some like contrast paints and try some slap chop. Yeah, I, I find slap chop quite overrated. I wouldn't do slap chop. I'd do some sort of like. I'd do like some sort of enhanced slap chop. Yeah. But I've never tried it. Uh, I I find contrast paints very hit and miss. <laughs> like they they're good for some things, but I wouldn't like just switch over completely to nothing but contrast. No. I can't I'm too bound by my old ways, man. I would never tell the community to go flip themselves. <laughs> I actually painted that one. Yeah, just not so much at the back. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean... I don't think I would ever switch to... I don't think I could ever switch to pure contrast. But I should maybe buy a contrast paint. As I don't own any. You don't own any what? Sorry, I missed that. Contrast paints. Oh, man, they they are very, very good. But um, each paint is, is not like the other. They all work slightly differently with the different pigments, which is weird. Fair enough. But yeah, I, yeah. I've I seen do like the, them I've for. Seen, I've seen the arrays of people painting like millions of things. There you go. They're looking, yeah. cool. They're looking nice, aren't they? I like that. It's looking good. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I enjoyed using the contrast paints when I was painting up the uh, the old iron jaws because I used the contrasts for like the magicy smoke stuff, uh, oh, all yeah. the wood, some of the leather bits. Yeah, yeah. This is what my thoughts are. Light to dark, yeah, yeah, but no. I, I suppose I've got the um, I've got like the technical paints used for the night gaunts. Yeah. 
And, and speaking of night gaunts, because look, look what we're paying. We're paying scythes. And because I'm nothing but iterative, we're going to be going for a scythe. We're going to try and get a scythe that looks like that. That's going to be the scythe effect. Look at the hand. It's like just one hand. It's like, ah. <laughs> No, we're gonna go for we're not gonna go for like this effect, but we're gonna go for like as we're painting zombies, you know, it's all very uh So we're gonna go for like this this like effect on the on the metal. So That's that's the, the look I'm going for. It's like I have a shelf it's like it's almost like I've got a giant shelf of models next to me, isn't it? Weird that. <laughs> <laughs> no, almost drank my um, almost drank my um, paint water there. To be fair, my paint water is probably that is actually pretty fresh. So what we're we gonna do? No, we still we're still in dry brush land, aren't we? I forget. I can't really start painting the other details until I get the dry brushing done. I remember. I remember how to dry brush now. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then we're gonna go for some rack off flesh. Rack off. And I literally just get some of this shiz out on the palette and then I'm just like literally like there's nothing particularly exciting about dry brushing, but you literally take it and then like just take it off on the on the Man, tissue. Dry brushing gets such a bad rap in the community. They like, people think it's just like it's like a beginner's technique that you learn once and then never use again, but it's just another sort of tool in the arsenal. Yeah. Also, like all things, it's just something to use, isn't it? To yeah. get an effect. This is like a super light. I mean, I, I'm actually mulling over um, submitting for next year's crystal brush. Oh my god. Yeah. What would you, what would you paint? Um, probably paint an Inquisitor. Or maybe a sister of battle, like going well, to the I character. Reckon, I reckon Inquisitor would be good. You want to do a diorama or something? No. I... I'd go in for the the single character model sort of things. I mean, you know, I could go for competition, but then I'd have to actually maybe actually improve the way I paint. Ugh. I mean, I've got no uh, real faith that I'd win anything, but I mean, it'd be nice to uh, apply. Well, to compete, even. Yeah, I suppose so. People are too commonly for themselves. They are. I don't know, man. Every time I try and paint a model better, or any like micro, micro composition stuff I've done, never got very far. I'm just not very good. <laughs> I'm aware of the mold line there. 
These things are super hard to clean though, so we're going to have to just live with it. Oh, mold lines. Yeah. Oh the, god, man, the amount of fucking mold lines I had to get off of um, like heavy intercessors and stuff. These are these aren't the problem is these are like a soft P UPVC plat or like a soft um, UPVC, so they're not like hard yeah. plastic. So can't really clean the mold lines off because they sort of like you know the it's almost like a it's almost like a tupperware kind of plastic yeah you know what i mean like thick tupperware like rubbery plastic so it's not the it's not the greatest plastic quality in the world so that's for why we have a few mold lines and things but right so that with that done we can get on and start painting the uh the bits in preparation for the the leather and all that. Right. I was chatting to someone about uh, painting models yesterday, just when I was oh, there, yeah. and they were saying like use tiny brushes, and it's like I'd say you'd be surprised how small the brushes aren't. Yeah, I mean. I I generally don't use anything smaller than a, a two. I don't have numbers. Apparently it's oh. a six. But I don't know what that means. Mil? It's about six mil. Don't know. So no, the it's smallest one you can get is the triple zero, double zero, zero, then one, two. It goes up like that. A triple, triple, zero, triple, triple. Yeah, yes, she but... is. Yeah. I mean, after watching lots and lots of Sam Lens and like Uncle Atom and all that sort of thing, it was like, yeah, tiny brushes are actually just a bit shit because you don't hold any fucking paint on them. So just get good at using a larger brush. Your sound's really breaking up, man. No, oh, sorry. It's still breaking like, up, or is it? Sounds like a fan. Hmm, weird. Like stopping and starting. Yeah, they don't hold any paint. So this is brown is a preparation for uh, just like dabbing on some like um, other metal metallic colours to make it look more metallic later on. Like I did yeah. with the other blade, so. Right, so this guy's got like leathery bits on the top of his. We're trying to paint his face when we're doing this. Uh, is the sound still stuttering there, or is it kind of sort itself out? No, it's still a bit starry. That's mm, weird. Mm, it's chopping. Sounds choppy. I have no idea what I'd be doing next because I don't have a fan on. Not audio. Right, all the audio CPU stuff, is it? Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, it only did start a few minutes ago. Yeah, which is weird, but I've uh, um, poked the audio.exe thing again, but I don't know if it's made any difference. Nope. Microphone's not full of cat hair again, is it? Don't know, man. I'm just going to have a quick look at voice meter. So, voice meter hasn't murdered itself, so that's good. I'm just going to go for a quick restart, man. I'll be back in like two minutes. Yeah, that might have done it. Yeah, I'm back in a second.
Ja. Jo, jo, jo. I'm wondering. No, it's a high, isn't it? Oh, I'm bad at that. He's got leather straps underneath here as well. That should be. Actually, I can paint that a bit brown. Most of this guy's leather is going to be like this colour brown anyway, so... About to grab him by his goddamn scythe. That's no good. quite a lot of um, brown to paint. So yammering on about not needing a smaller brush, I think I might actually need a smaller brush to be able to do that faster. It's always the way, isn't it? The problem is I don't want to... That's the annoying thing about dry brushing. I don't want to... Once I've done it, I want to go back and like break it. Good. I don't want to really break what I've done. So. <laughs> yeah. I. It's a, it is a bizarre. It is a bizarre choice. I am very much aware of that. But what do you mean? It's like I've got a little bit of armor on. So how come this armor works for you still? It's, I don't know. I'm a skeleton. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've painted anything else this week. No. Are we getting any sound? Oh, there we go. There we go. That, that, you're crackle-free now. Yeah, that's weird. Well, a little bit of crackle, but... Yeah. No, it's better. Yeah, if it's, if it's better, it's better. I don't fucking know, man. Don't know. Let me just jump back onto YouTube so I can see what's going on. Maybe, maybe these skeletons aren't real skeletons. They were always, these aren't skeletons. They're like, skelet, skelet people. Now, how are you wondering? Audio is back to normal. Yeah. No, oh, no, I forgot to paint his boots. You fool. Got to paint his booties. I'm preparing to cook egg fried rice tonight. Oh, fancy. I know. I've got my eggs. 
You've got your got, old rice. I have uh, I have made rice that's just currently becoming old right now as we speak. In the fridge, chilling old. Right now, it's been there for like a couple of hours already. Oh, I'm expecting a bit of an Amazon delivery today. Oh yeah, what'd you get? Um, just... Um... Oh, it's just a pair of headphones, it's not for me. It's like over the head... Uh, fair. ...things. Oh, bins. Yeah, but nothing posh, just... More for sending a message than anything else. I am listening to stuff. Please do not interrupt me. There. Nothing says I don't want to talk to people like a big pair of freaking headphones playing loud music. Yeah, man. Um. When it comes to these people's loincloths, I've been looking at the box art because I do occasionally. Because obviously, I'm nothing if not unoriginal. Yeah. And apparently, their loincloths are like blue. Fair. Yeah. So I shall faithfully paint them blue but I'm not painting their teeth blue because that's weird whoever did the art for that was very strange Um, I think they're spiky. I think it's just like a spiky sort of effect on the um, on the arm guard. Did you ever? Sorry, just completely nothing to do with painting. But I was listening to it yesterday. Mm. Did you ever listen to Regurgitator? Yeah. Man, I absolutely love the album unit. It's such a good album. <laughs> I, I, it's just so good. It, it's, it's phenomenally good. You know, considering the fact they're just like a little three piece band from Australia. Mm. Mm. So good. <laughs> no, but anyway, yeah. So that's a Ugg's musical recommendation. <laughs> Regurgitator. Not around anymore. Well, I think I'm a very long hiatus. But yeah, like most decent bands. Yeah. First, first album is called Unit, and it's outstanding kind of like it's like, like new like it's like is it like what's what sort of the I don't want to say it's curse it but like it's like Green Day but early Green Day but uh, there's a big but that comes with that that mm. it's it's got electronic in there as well so it's electronic and not just guitars and stuff so it's synthesizers and stuff like that so not so much like green day if someone asked me what they sound like i'd be like green day with synthesizers <laughs> but more bit more poppy than Green Day but still amazing like
So I don't you fall down on the green day. I'm gonna go, you don't like it. Uh, yeah, man, I'm not a huge fan of Green Day, to be honest. I was an early Green Day. I like the early stuff of Green Day. Before they got rich. I, I really like synth wave, so I don't mind a good synthesizer. No. Synthesizer is the sound of the future. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, the 80s did over it. But that's like they found a new toy, didn't they? And then they kind of like went crazy with the new toy. And it's like, no, no, no. You just combine it with other things to make it truly transcend into greatness. Like I say, I just like I say, I like I don't read Gurgitator because it's just done with like it's like pop punky but done with like mm. quite the sarcastic edge to it. Quite clearly taking the piss. I've actually been chatting with Gold quite a bit about music the last few days. Yeah? Yeah, man. Going on about the ABBA? <laughs> no. Sounds like someone's going to start drilling in a minute in the garden. If they do that, I will have to close the window. It'd be annoying. It would be a Sunday in the UK, though. Instead of someone's oh, yeah. going to start freaking drilling on it. Just drill. Randomly fucking drilling. I mean, I was rudely awoken this morning at like half past eight by fucking. That would uh, be annoying. Oh, no. <laughs> no, by. Not Jehovah's Witnesses. What? There you go. Yeah. Jehovah's. I actually saw a couple of them when I was walking around at lunchtime. They tried to interrupt me at lunch, and I was like, nope. And the woman laughed. Oh, it looks like you've just woken up. I just said, I have, and closed the door. <laughs> What are they doing working on Sunday? I thought, you know, it was the Lord's Day. <laughs> well, the day of rest. resting. <laughs> like the cover of Lewin's Working Class Hero. Don't know if I know that one. But anyway, yeah, I liked Early Green Day. Like I said, I liked them before they got rich. I don't think you can write love songs or like silly love songs and like songs about being a teenager, like an angsty teenager when you're like a multi-millionaire no not really I think it somewhat robs you of your drive or your you know what I mean your yeah I don't even know what your your chutzpah <laughs> you don't have that hunger that hunger anymore you're just like I'm loaded right oh uh, 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 I've got myself a dead foot. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Ow! Why is my leg stopping? Uh, what do you what do you miss? Nothing, nothing much. Painting skeletons, really, and just chatting about stuff. Yep. Not a. So, D 
did you actually say what you're going to go? Oh, you're going to do an Inquisitor if you're going to go into some sort of brush based competition? Yeah, an Inquisitor or maybe um, like Morden Vile from the Sisters of Battle, you know, the big Paragon Warsuit Lady or All right. a Canoness. Is that metal there? Would the handle of a scythe be metal? No, it wouldn't. Would be. It would be wood. No, it'd be wood. Yeah. Good. I brought my dryer bark just for the case. And my wood colour. What is disturbing is that Zug's playing satisfactory. Yeah. So what are you making at the moment in satisfactory? What's your current uh, making objectives? I'm trying to get basic steel and copper production going oh. without using all of the resources that I don't have because when you start out you've got nothing I'm like I just I, I, I can't get the copper to the smelters because it's too far away so I'm gonna have to bring the smelters to the copper So we have to kill that and move it over here. <laughs> I'm just I'm just not a huge Green Day fan. I, I never really have been. I see how many people are liking that. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not sitting there going, "Oh, they're just so shit." I don't know why people even listen to them. It's like, you know, I get it. I just, it's just not my my cup of tea. fully caught up and, and the skeletons are slowly being painted that's the most the most important bit yep oh also um i've been looking at headphones for streaming i don't know what what, what do you mean you know just like um you know like most gaming headsets they've all got fucking inbuilt mics in them and stuff and it's just Yes. You know, irritating. Yeah. Well, when you just get not audio, like normal audio mics, headphones. Oh, because you can't get well, USB my... ones, don't they? Yeah. But you can just get a, you can just get a converter from a three point five millimeter jack to USB. Can you? Yeah. Oh my god, that sounds like wizardry. So I'm looking at getting cat ear headphones. A... Yeah, some cat ear ones, man. <laughs> well, I was just going to get some Sony, cat, like cat just basic headphones, and plug them into a 2.5 billion. Oh, fuck you, you uh, Amazon. Now then, now then, calm down. You can't say that about our Lord and Master. Well, they've... Uh, Prime's going away. Is it? Well, a free Prime's going away. I understand. So, uh, next day delivery is no longer free. Even if you're a Prime member, you've got to pay £2 for it. What? Yep, from September. Why is that? I don't know. Bezos doesn't have enough money to build a jacuzzi on his his moon base. What do you get for being a prime that member then? Uh, it costs you one ninety nine instead of five ninety nine. But what do you get for it? Uh, the videos. Yeah, you still get like 
you still get all like the stuff you get now it's just next day delivery now costs two quid instead of it being free No, it's happening in September. <laughs> Cat earphones, yeah. On the tag, just like. We should actually like rig up a, like a little tank, a brain in it, and have it like as a webcam. Right, so we go for some blue. I haven't got my blue over with me. I was gonna take my headset off, man. Let's go and look so. Oh, all oh, the aching legs have got to stand up. Outrageous. Yeah, I'm still looking for paint. Yeah, that's what I'm um, I'm looking at. Frost. It's basically studio monitor headphones. But yeah, you can get a uh, a three point five millimeter jack audio adapter to USB converter for like eight quid. Going for some stagger dawn scale green. Right, the loin clothage and the little wraps on the handles. It's just I want I want some like lightweight headphones because I I don't need fucking massive ones anymore because I don't need them to have a mic in them. I would use my really nice headphones that I use for like music and stuff, but they've got an inbuilt fucking Bluetooth mic in it that you can't disable. What is that for like talking to people on like no, it's just, the telephone? No, it's just like, yeah, well, yeah, it's a you know, hands free calling and all that shite, which I don't do because I don't talk to people on the phone. If you want to talk to me, fucking text me. And you might get a Isn't response. Isn't that the correct answer? If you want to talk to me, don't. Yeah, talk basically. I think I've overdone it. I've run out of resources before I can actually make anything. Hey. Well, you know when you start. Yes. I just build a workbench and make it by hand. Why am I ever complicating shit? Yeah, Why? that's the point where I usually tell like Zug to go off and get me some more resources. You, have you tried that? Just gonna like make some by hand. There you go. Have you got yourself a wet palette yet? No. Of course you haven't. Didn't I send you one? No. Or did I just send you a paintbrush? A paintbrush. That you never used. Well, well, I mean, time hasn't run out yet on my life, so there is. A, I'm going. I will use it. I like. It's the end of all things, is it? And the time for using paintbrush is over. The heat death of the universe has not occurred yet, Zug. That paintbrush is still in existence. And it's still capable of, you know, being used.
Don't be glum, chum. It'll be it'll be used at some point. Um, yeah. Um, I'm still disturbed by this news about Amazon. Yeah, me too, man. I was not happy about it. The end is nigh. Oh, you know, I was talking to you the other day about um, an external camera monitor and like how you'd rig it up and stuff. Yes. I figured out exactly how to do it. And then I figured out how much it'd actually cost to do it. And I just went, fuck it. I'll just turn my head. That is an option. Yeah, because I was just like, with all the bits I would actually need to get for it, the converters, the HDMI splitter and all that stuff, it was like, it starting out about like, oh, you know, 20 quid to do this. It's like, no, it's it's going to end up being something like 200. But you just get like fuck a monitor. that. Like another yeah, monitor. I, I could literally just, like, man, I've got a TV like down next to me. I could just get an HDMI cable and mount that TV on the wall behind me because I already have a fucking TV wall mount as well and just use that as a third monitor. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just have OBS on that screen when I paint. You want to have OBS, you'd want... You'd want... Um... Oh, Discord, because we do no. it in a weird... You'd want... YouTube Studio. Oh, yeah. So you can talk to the lovely people out in internet land. Yep. Because that's what I have. My, my screens, on one screen I've got like the YouTube studio. That's the one, that my main screen. And on the right hand screen I have like OBS just sitting there, Discord, um, other things, just other bits and bobs lying around there. It's basically like a standard streaming night, except there's a lot more... Fucking about. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just going to mount that TV to the wall. Because... Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, I think it's the... Yeah, the, the, I suppose... Well, the thing is, we can actually look at the camera, because... I can look at the camera as well because I've got the camera like the camera's just off to my left. But that's the problem I have. I can't. That's why I can't do that. It's because I can't look straight into the camera because it has to be at a weird angle for me. Right. You can't. Which was why I was. Forgot that. No, no. It's because where I have to have it in the in the office, uh, it's not in my line of sight at all. I'd have to like stand on the desk and stand over the fucking thing to look into it. Oh, I missed a bit there. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, because I think that is the thing, isn't it? You need to see whether it's focused and whether your face is in it. Yep. Yeah, but you do need. Yeah, but you, I think you've you've already got the mark. You've already I've already told you about the marks thing. Oh yeah, I've I've already got all that set up, and hopefully with um, how I'm doing it now, it will be a lot easier because it's just I'm, I'm not using a fucking tripod that doesn't fit in the room. Yeah, because like that little mark there, <laughs> I basically hold the model there, and I know it's in the right place. Like I hold the model like because it's weird because my head's off, like my head is off to the right by about I'm yeah I'm like sitting at a bit of an angle so I'm like I if you follow my brush I'm like I'm here and my camera's like yeah. off to the side a bit but my camera will basically be uh, on the opposite side of the desk from where the skeleton's head is and it'll be coming from that way, pointing down. 
So it will be in front of me and overhead. You won't you be able to see, you can flip up the screen on the camera though. Yeah, but it doesn't flip up um, in any sort of orientation that is useful to me. All right, okay. That is annoying. Yeah. But I suppose, like, the camera is, like, prohibitively expensive, I'd imagine. Pardon? Are the camera screens, like, prohibitively expensive? Well, the cheapest ones are, like, 200 quid, and they've got shitty reviews on them, basically saying, it's a pile of crap, don't use it. So, yes. So, yeah. <laughs> That's not too good, is it? No. Man, if you... Basically, you start doing this shit, it, it gets real expensive real fucking quick. Yeah, somehow like, it appears I've managed to, like... The cost of doing this down to, like, the absolute minimum, because I've spent... I've spent literally nothing on my rig. I'm very fortuitous that I have, like... <laughs> a, 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 quite a bit of space around my... my computer desk. Yeah, and that, that is the thing that, that screwed me, is that I don't have the space, so I've had to come up with a very different way of doing it. A little bit of Andrew dust. Um, I'm just going to paint the fluffy bits on the top of the boots. So there's no, there's no way you can paint in front of your computer, then? No. Do not have the space. Is it because your desk is like monstrously huge? Mm, not really. Just that the office isn't very wide. So I've got a computer desk and a painting desk and there's about enough room in between them to get a chair and to have to turn around with it. Sucks. Yeah. But you know, is what it is, man. Well, the only thing you could do... Mm. Here's an idea. You know, like, the camera can be controlled via your phone. Can it? Yeah. <laughs> You can like, you can like attach to your phone, um, so you can actually you attach your phone to your camera. Sorry, I have to take my headphones off for a second. What's going on? But you you're, so what you can attach? Yeah. Yeah. So you can literally connect to and use it as a um, as a remote control. I did not know that. Yeah, man. If you go into the wireless options on the camera, there's like a, a thing where you can like that might that might do it for you. Yeah. So you just connect like a tele a telephone to your um. I think it's no because these cameras have got like the the um the screen like the the screen is only flip outable by like it only comes like out of the at one angle yeah so you can't like you can't like see it from any angle it's not rotatable it just comes out of the body it like it opens like a book the screen opens like a book off of the back of the camera so you can see it a little bit So if it were like, if that were like, it, the camera, the screen closed, it kind of, and, and the picture's on that end of the screen, then basically, you know, I need to use smaller fingers. I'll explain by using this. So if that were the, the black were the, like the, the screen, and that's the body of the camera, it's kind of got, it pivots like that. So you could see it, you can sort of invert it a bit, like in the picture's on this side. But um, that's that's all it comes out from the camera body. 
No, it's only got like, like I said, it only opens up like a book, which is kind of annoying, but. Fortunately, the cameras are good, but you know. They have limitations. Limitations by, you know, the, the cost. I guess if you got a more expensive one, it would probably have that functionality, wouldn't it? I haven't painted their feet at all. I feel bad now. Oh, so now we've got, a, you know, we, we have two manly, manly Americans in the in the room with us because uh, I'm I'm not, I don't know how to see these things. So I'm I'm <laughs> thinking about instead of mounting the clamp to the desk, I was going to get a basically piece of steel, like a steel rod, about an inch. This sounds very manly. thick, an inch thick and about you no know, foot long. I was going to bracket that to the wall and put the clamp on that so that it's not on the desk. So I can basically pick the height of what it is, clamp it to it. And also, if I knock the desk, it's not going to wobble the camera. Do you think that would work? I don't understand what you're saying. What are you going to do? Say it again. So basically, I wasn't paying a, st to a steel rod. So like a thick steel about an inch thick and about a foot long just so it, that's something for the clamp to bite into bracket that onto the wall so that it's just sitting on the wall right and so instead of clamping it to the desk so i'm not a manly man though so no I do not speak pipe or hammer, and that is the problem. Well, I've got basic iron you... production and copper production going. What, are you just making ingots? Making ingots, turning them into plates, um, yeah, right. turning them into copper wire, you know. You need cable as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm just, uh, I don't have the resources at the moment to, what I want to do is split all this no, off no, you, into. What you do is you take your basic wire production, yeah, and you put a splitter on that. So you take your ingots, yeah? Yeah. You get your ingots and then you, sp and then you basically make wire out of your ingots, yeah? And then half of the half of them you store as cable or half of them you convert use a uh, constructor to make it to cable and the other half you just store as wire and you just deal with it oh uh, okay uh not an inch thick that would tear off the wall too heavy thank you that is the kind of advice i need instead of a rod maybe look into a steel pipe and you're thinking <laughs> to have this pole protrude See, directly from the wall or in and basically um i was going to bracket bracket it onto the wall how much better this stuff than us yeah like like you're so so much better this is why i'm talking to you guys about it and not to work because we don't know what we're fucking talking about it's not my chosen specialization no i am a wastrel i'm i'm not a i'm not a proper man Would it not be better to have like square, a square piece of metal? Because if you're talking about a clamp, yeah, well, you could, you can get those just oh. a square, a hollow square tube, for lack of a better word. Yeah. Or could you, can you buy like poles of like? Because I'm thinking, if you got a clamp, a metal clamp going onto a metal pole, could you buy like? Can you buy poles that are like got? I don't even know what you say, but like, like grooves going along them, like, I don't know, like, like ridges around the middle of it. So it's got more texture on it. So the yeah, clamp can you, bite um, better. Or square, a square tubing. Yeah, a square tubing. A square tubing. Okay. So. Yeah, square tubing. Right. Oh, 
That guy's got got his not got his blueness done. His blueness yeah. is not done. Mild steel square tubing. I don't want aluminium because that will bend. Thirty centimeters would be plenty. Not four centimeters by four centimeters. Two and a half that do. Yeah, and you see the problem is, you know, penis enlargement surgery. Not really any good. I can't really advise you on this. Tell you what you do if you um, enlarge your penis. It's it's still a it's a camera clamp, but it uh, it has quite a, it's a ratcheted for heavy duty equipment kind of camera equipment, so like heavy lights and that sort of stuff. It's uh, it can take up to like a fifty kilogram load on the the actual clamp. You go find a slightly more suitable brush. Aha! When I say more suitable, more terrible is what I'm actually made. Uh, you can have it, it can be both. It's got a, an attachment. How heavy is the uh. camera? It's like three pounds, three point eight pounds. But it's not just the the heft of the camera; it's also going to be the weight of the articulated arm that's holding the camera. And then I've got to add on the added uh, weight of having the arm boomed out, which will increase the weight of it. I think it's not a spring arm, it's a it's a solid steel um sprocketed arm. So it like it it's got lock nuts on it to lock it into place. I mean I could just I mean the camera is a Panasonic DMC GX80, if you want to know exactly all about it. So, the arm weighs uh, th uh, three pounds. And the arm can take up to a ten pound load at maximum um, extension. Alright, we're going with the uh, metal now, and we're just going to start tippity tapping the metal onto all the bits I want to look metally. Rusted metal. Uh, I could, would it help if you guys could actually see what I'm talking about? We have the technology. Yeah, hang on, I'm just... You can always send me a picture. Oh, no, I'm just uh... linking it into the chat, man. Oh, that makes it easier. Good. Yeah. <laughs> right, so basically I've just taken this, I've, I've dabbed off the nose to this and I'm just reapplying this like really. Some reason. 
You know you can like get a thing that shortens down your links. I see that. I don't know. Just type it into like Google. Shorten URL. There you go, and that's the clamp. But it does have the ability to bite into flat and curved uh, surfaces. So you can use it on desk and on, say, like a lighting pole or a tripod. Them coming along, right? That's that one done. So let's just get some more of this done. Uh, it's not the length, so I don't need the 30 centimeters on the thing that's being mounted. It's literally above the desk anyway, so the reach isn't the problem. It's more positioning. So the distance between wall and where the camera needs to be pointed at is say 50 centimeters 60 at a push uh these or well, these all the walls in here are um red brick no studs in here apart from me As I'm talking about satisfactory, so you uh, yeah. probably don't know, but if you hold down control when you're mm. putting in like concrete, yeah, yeah, 
the concrete plating that makes the concrete snap to the world grid that's on the floor oh okay so that means that wherever you put that that means it will be aligned wherever you put it in the world oh that's very useful thank you yeah it's totally what we haven't done in our live playthrough but but it's useful When I, when I owned a house, that was one thing I learned to do. I actually learned to drill into brick. And bought myself a uh, mortar. We... Bought myself a mortar drill. <laughs> or a mortar drill. Uh, we do have drills and things, so that's fine. I would prefer an impact drill, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Have you not got an impact drill? No. A hammer drill? Nah, I don't have a hammer drill, man. I just have oh, like a normal cheap. drill. I know, it's just every, every, every time I go to get one, people get going, oh, don't need one. What do you need an impact drill for? It's like, because the house is made of concrete. Well, it's worse than that, it's made of fucking brick. Yeah, and brick is terrible to drill through. Yeah, man, I went and bought a mortar drill just for that specific reason, that I own a house that's made out of brick. I didn't want to like spend half an hour drilling holes in it. Yeah. I'd like my holes drilled quickly. Oh, okay. I get what you mean, Frost. It is a mixture of breeze block and brick. Right. That's that done. Metal done. Oh no, not that plate, you know. that dad what I just just look at the ideas I'm being given yeah, yeah I suppose this sort of bracket would be a thing So we are kind of coming along with these guys. Oh, I missed the little blue bits at the front there, didn't I? It's hard life being in the sort of like the zombie military. All the skeleton military. Make sure you got all your stuff sorted. Your colour mm. palette. I'm just gonna grab a coffee, we'll be back in a sec. Okay. I mean ah oh, that would be, Yeah.
Blimey. I'm going for like an hour and a half. Time what flies. You're going to. Uh, about half four, maybe. About yeah. another hour. All right. Right. Need to. Uh, right. I mean, I could just get a steel wall bracket and just, you know, hook it onto that and save all of this trouble. Like you're saying. I'm just going to grab a drink. Back in a sec. Right, so now we're just going to give them an all over wash with the old Agrax. Always part of the plan. Is it going to be a super thick wash of this? Actually, it looks a lot darker than it actually is in reality. But we'll go back and line it up in a bit. Honestly, 30 centimeters was just a random number I pulled out my ass. So, I mean, any sort of bracket that the clamp won't instantly chew off would be preferable. I mean, if I wanted to be completely lazy about it, I could just install a small shelf with the brackets, like a little piece of wood, put the clamp on that, and then I have also a small shelf to put things on. Put all the models you finish painting on there. What, all three of them? I mean, you only need a small shelf. Hey, I've got like half a finished Sisters of Battle Army. <laughs> I've still been slowly painting them. Uh, about 40. And I've got another 60 to paint. You know, it's just, just Sisters of Battle black and red. Particularly... Also, I am trying to be very cheap about this because, like, that fucking articulated arm was expensive enough. Yeah. Sorry for uh, wondering. Yeah, that was basically your idea. So, 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I might just do that. I'll just fuck it. Again, I, I'd like, I get an idea and I go down the most complicated fucking route to try and achieve it. It's just like, you don't need to do that. There are com more complicated ways. Oh, yeah. Like build an extension on the room. The room's already an extension. Build an extension on the extension. <sighs> the audacity. Oh, and I saw your comment last night wondering on the uh, Rift Break video. I was just like, I'm such a fucking idiot. I didn't look at the... That there was a fucking input and output on the... Uh, the fluid tanks. That's just like that. That just makes things like so much easier. That they've idiot proofed it, and uh, yeah. the scales of idiocy. I mean, steel's not that expensive here. I mean, twenty quid for basically what you suggested. Or maybe slightly cheaper if it's steel and wood mixed. Right, I'm gonna go snaffle myself a cup of coffee. Okay. Entertain the people, Zug. Entertain the people. Yeah. Will do. I, I should put something on the the stream to make it look like. Actually doing something. No, well, I'm not doing something. You know. No, hold on, I got an idea. Give it more flavour. Wow. Right. I think at the moment, um, wood is actually more expensive than steel <laughs> in the UK. Right, coffee. Bear back in a sec. Okay. I mean, I could just stick something like that on there. Yeah, I... I <sighs> but, you know, it's the, it's the theme park, man. It, it doesn't make much sense of why things cost that they do here. I mean, it, it'd be so much fucking easier if I could just use the tripod, but... Right. 
There just there just isn't the room in here to do it. Yo, man. No, I'm actually back. What I miss? What I miss? Oh, not much. We're still just talking clamps. Uh, yeah, that was um, the other idea. I was actually just going to go to B and Q with the clamp in my pocket and just like steal clamp it to stuff. things. And yeah, I'm not going to steal things, man. I'll just you know, be annoying. Right there, we go. Sake, I'm not wiring these things up properly at all, and it's not. Well, and it's not like I don't know how to wire them. It's just <laughs> I'm being shit. Yeah, man. Put one pole next to every machine. Yeah. And connect them in an array. So all those poles for all the machines. Pole, pole, pole. Connect, 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 and then each pole goes into the thing. So you get like two connections or three connections on each normal pole. Yeah, uh, I'll, literally it's because I wasn't paying attention, I was just sort of dicking about, and I've just made a mess. There we go, they're looking alright. No power, why have you got no power? They uh, need a little brightening for a change. I got slightly off, off, off piste, off piste. I'm gone mad. But yeah, I finally figured out how to make things work on the rift breaker. So uh, yeah, we'll be pootling along with that series. And there's a new DLC coming out for it soon as well. Is there? Yeah, so I might I might just restart the world with the new stuff that's in. Don't know though. See how it goes. Uh, I mean, you could do. I'm just looking for more paint now. I mean, I'm quite happy with the series, um, but I do think a season two with me actually knowing somewhat to fucking do instead of me sitting there for half an hour going, why is this fucking working when I could have just used my inherent ability to fucking read to realise why it's not working. <laughs> oh man, reading yeah. is, I mean, you know, there are issues with reading, aren't there? Yep. Remember, you got to get someone to read it out for you and... Yeah, and you're not always available. And you've got you know, to, just... Yeah, then you've got to actually pay enough attention to listen to that. Yeah, it's right. it's a it's a big Go old fuck around. Really. Uh, I haven't seen what the update or what the new DLC is about. I just saw there's one coming. Yeah, let's have a quick look. It's not like I'm. I don't have the fucking time to have a look at it. Uh, uh, the Rift Breaker, where are you? Right. Let's get this there leather painted in. Store page. World Expansion 3. Uh, oh no, it's not coming out until 2024, so it's not soon. Uh, a new branch of the story campaign. Establish an outpost in a brand new area of the planet if you dare. Scan, analyze new stuff. New enemies, uh, new technologies. So it's just a, a general. No. Yeah, it's just a, an expansion to the game. It's 
always nice. Probably don't have a lot of information on at the moment. No. I think they only announced it a few days ago. Why is my hand itching? Uh. Yeah, I think that will, I think that will work. So thank you both for um, basically figuring it out for me because I was going to go about it a real fucking ass backwards way. basics of everything building but it's all very ugly so I'm going to destroy it as soon as I have flooring and uh, make it nice. Yeah man, it's just getting enough cement and stuff together to be able to get the concrete research and stuff. It's Yeah. I've got limestone and stuff coming so it's uh, I've got rods, I've got screws, I've got plates, I've got wire, I've got Cable. Oh yeah, I wouldn't use the bullshit screws that come with it. I've got um, masonry screws and stuff that I would just use instead. Highlight. We're gonna go do the blue, so we're gonna go for some temple car blue to get that nice and bright. Ow! Not that uh, blue. Yeah, man. I still want to know why the fuck the YouTube Studio keeps lagging behind. Oh, what, like where it's not lagging but it's just literally like behind on what you're doing yeah yeah it's like uh it's not still reinforced i th think it is uh, it's not it's not the fully hollow one it's the half hollow weird one but it's not still reinforced. So 
So it's it's concreted and reinforced and plastered. Talking about, I'm not wall. A wall. Lovely, lovely wall. Yeah, with this painting of skeletons and stuff, I don't mind painting some like OCR bone reapers or something like that as well. Like the whole... Yeah, they're quite cool, man. I didn't like them to start with, but I think that they grew on me. I don't mind paint skeletons, they're alright skeletons. Yeah. Alright. Well, I was watching Roken Oak Gaming, like I'm wont to do, and I love the way he explains that the skeleton is literally just a puppet that our muscles and bone, our muscles and sinews control. Mm. Weird, isn't it? It's pretty weird. I guess it's right. Yeah. Our brain's just puppeteering this skeleton. <laughs> yep, we're just the big weird meat suit. Yeah, a weird meat puppet. My, my house is like made of a double layer of red brick because it's old uh, mine is as well but I'm in the extension which is red mm. brick and breeze block yeah alright so we just need to find uh, just like the final colour to put on it uh, not the final colour the final colour that I'm going to put on the um I just need to bring out the um, the dead. No, bring out the, the little tiny, tiny, like super light highlight on the on the bone, which I'm going to use. Uh, uh, what am I going to use? I was going to use Rakhal flesh. No, I'm going to use Rakhal flesh. I want them to be kind of. I could do shabby. Maybe like super, super. Like almost like no shabby. Almost like nothing. I can even find my shabby bone. Where are your shabby bone? Uh, yes, Frost. Me? That is how it was uh, constructed. I oh, know. Flayed one flesh. Oh. That's what we're going for. But almost like, almost like none. Oh yeah. That's how much I've got in there, like almost none at all.
Just about see it. And the final skeleton. Da, 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 da. For unconscious, is it? No, I'm just trying to work something out on uh, Rift Breaker. Um, back to Rift Breaker now. Yeah, I was just, just trying to figure out how the fuck to get um, Palladium sorted. Well, there you go. They're looking all right. A little tiny bit more to go. I reckon we're almost done. So, I want to put a little bit more of a highlight on the on the leather. So we're going for a bit of Death Claw brand. I like Stan to get grade. massive amount of this, just a little tiny bit. Question is what to paint next time though. Huh. Mostly focusing the uh, it around the top. Give it a little bit of a a lighter effect from above. Oh, 
but it's a very subtle effect. I've just almost painted on his arm then. That was not what I was after. So I, I'll just go paint on his bony arm. Nice. Um, I mean, skeletons are pretty simple models. So I think I don't know what more we could do. That's about it. No. Not good. You don't want you don't want to get hurricaned. Okay. Um I guess we just need to go with our traditional basing technique. Why as we get on with it? As we try to be a bit of a complete issue, we're going to go for the mechanic of standard grey, as usual. What, for the rim? No, not for the rim. I was going to say. I can't remember what colour I'm painting these rims. I'll just have to go and look at the other ones. I might do them grey. I might do them all. Oh. Oh, no, still Legion Drab is what I'm doing. They are getting still Legion Drabbed. I know you don't like it, but... No oh, man, I've, I'm coming around to Steel Legion Drab. Steel Legion Drab base. I only do it for models that I'm paying for games and stuff like that. Yeah. I'd like to mix it up a bit. Apart from when I was absolutely crazy and I did the talisman ones where I did them like Steel Legion Drab, Red, and um Can't remember. Grey. It's just unacceptable. No, because Steel Legion Drab was good. Grey was neutral. Or was, was um yeah, the neutral alignment and red was evil ones. Oh, fair. So, it actually made sense in the game to do that. Thank you, thank you. I think it's the thing about it, I don't know. This, does this count as speed painting at this point? Mm, don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe. What? I painted four models in. Two hours? Pretty fast, isn't it? Could be faster. It could be. Again, I don't know. Is it speed painting at this point? I'd say it is. Yeah, half an hour model doesn't sound like a lot, does it really? Well, it'd be like more like what two and a half hours when we're done. Oh yeah, we're basically at the point where models are done. I'm just painting the bases now, so. Hmm. Maybe I should call it Ugg Speed Paints. <laughs> when I paint live though I actually mm. focus on just painting there's no other distractions or anything like that I don't really do any you know I literally sit here and paint so apart from getting a coffee or you know talking it's basically just painting continuously
good. Well, until we get to the point where we actually um So these ones are gonna get a little they get a watered down dark tone wash with what is it? I don't even know what I'm using. I've got this stuff. Bought some Vallejo model wash dark vehicle one. Black. Oh nice. Yeah, this stuff. Um, this is what I used to wash the um, orc scenery I painted because I figured that this is like three quid for it was like three quid for 35 milliliters that's a lot of wash yeah and like the games workshop stuff is way expensive than compared to that oh tell you what I did find though oh what? shit there's a hurricane Found this guy in a box of things that someone gifted to me. Mm. This guy. Oh, nice. Like an old. Was he a like a preacher? Isn't he? Yeah, he's a preacher. I think I would pay that at some point. I stripped him. I couldn't get this paint off here. Thick old enamel paint on him. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I kind of like painting metal models, old metal models, they're pretty cool. Clean him up and everything like that, he's ready to roll. I just need to, like, paint him, prime him. Yeah, hold on. Well, let's hope it doesn't head too far north then, Frost. Um, I think that, um, I think that is, um... He would be not inquisitional, more inquisitional than, no, they're like, what are they, the Ecclesiasty? Yeah, the Ecclesiarchy. Ecclesiarchy. Which is like, basically the religious branch, so more Sisters of Battle, sort of like, yeah. Extra Militarum. Because they're like basically the religious, the religious sort of things. Because admittedly, that they like, um, I was just going to carry in this because why not? There's not actually much more to do on this. Paint the base. No, oh, I've got some grey paint. Am I painting it grey? I'm not painting it grey. I'm painting the tactical rock under his foot grey. Actually, am I? Yeah, I am. No, no, nothing to do with that. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't remember California being very hurricane -y. I thought that was more like Florida, Miami sort of side. You thought wrong. It's been a while since I painted this model. Right. <laughs> so, my Space Marine bases. They tend to verge on the brown.
This one annoyingly has got some what these are. So it's a spore mine or something. Dunno, games workshop, what are you doing? Putting loads of dead tyrannids on bases. I don't mind. I'll finish off the live stream by just doing loads of bases. <laughs> Why not? How the hell am I going to get my brush in there? annoying just gotta like coming at a specific angle am i using the completely wrong brush I I quite possibly no i really am <laughs> stupid <laughs> like i'd like a brush with a tip on it that would probably be handy when painting as opposed to just like one that looks more like a The only thing about this more is actually painting the tyranny on the base. Let's <laughs> be the fifteen minute warning, man. Got the uh, the skeletons drying out. I'm just painting this because it's something to do in it. Yeah. What oh, God? What are you doing? What? Are you playing with bits of plastic again? No. That's why you just make random noises. No, somebody did walk past my office. Like crinkling. Yeah. Sort of crinkle man there. <clears throat> Have you got a crinkle man living in your office, Zug? Yep. Hmm. 
Right. Um, uh, def got no more phone. What the, the brown for? Oh, uh, is this? Yeah, scrap brown. We go for scrap brown. We're gonna paint some. Um, We're just going to do a little bit of edge highlighting. No, edge highlighting. There. Got to make sure it's nice and thick, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do thick edge highlights. Do normal person edge highlights. Edge highlights. Or it'd be not like really shit thick ones. I have a lot of bags. Do this a little bit nicer. Maybe the right colour. Oh, you're not colours on paint anymore. It's totally the wrong colour. It's all gone. Everything's gone wrong. It's all right. No, we're okay. We're okay. Ugh. Hopefully, the paint would have dried enough on the skeleton so we could just switch back to those in a minute. We'd like to finish on the bit of skeletons, getting a bit of a final wash on them and actually getting them complete. Apart from just the rims, which, and the uh, the dry brush of like, with Chevrolet Bow on the, On the soil, on the ground at least, All right? Just got a little that dry off, really. And not worry about how shit the tyranid on the base looks like. <laughs> that I hate now. 
No, I don't hate your little Tyranid. Oh, I do. I just have to go back and write. Yeah, I've got a bit of a plan for doing that nicer. I'm good if I could actually, you know, see it. That would be one of the nicer features of this model. Right, cool. Right. Gotta let that dry out. But that's a tail for another day. Well, not actually, another day. I'd probably just do it in my own private time. Let's, let's see if this dry out yet. Oh yeah, we're dry. So we just need to put in a final dry brush of um try if I can actually go and find it. I need to actually find it now. Where are you, Shabby Bone? Where are you? Hide from me for so long. Actually, you can hide from me forever. Um, Probably can, yeah. Oh no, I found it. Ha ha! Failed! Right. So we're just going with the uh, Shabbity Bone just to put like a like a tiny, tiny highlight or like a little dry brush highlight on the um, on the grey. But it won't be very, very polite. No, that's wrong. I've done it wrong, Zug. <laughs> Screwing up my own method. Wasting paint. You fool. <laughs> oh no! I need to put another wash on it, don't I? I remember? I was speaking about this stuff. Yeah. And then I actually forgot to use it because I'm ding dong. So we get a little bit of. Get a little bit of this. On the palette, brush it, and then we get some water. We water this stuff down. I don't know if you ever, ever used this stuff before, man. You ever used this before? What? Um, Vallejo for dark vehicles, black wash. Oh yeah, I use it for uh, black lining sometimes. It's very black. Yeah. So when it comes to doing this stuff, I like, w like dilute it massively because it's still like super dark. And I'll see, see. Super dark. Uh, it's way darker than null and oil. Yeah. Null oil. But I'm using this as a null oil. I've been playing around with some like different washes and different people just to try some mm. different stuff out shockingly I've tried like army painter I've got army to painter tone or like dark tone or no I can't remember what they call it it's got like a, a name I'll find it it's really easy to find it's quite handy though I suppose because it's more dark you can just dilute it and it's almost the same it's kind of like I mean yeah in essence I think it is like it is basically like none oil but it's darker And that's what I was actually going for when I bought it I wanted like a none oil replacement not a replacement but you know a slightly cheaper <laughs> yeah 
a slightly cheaper alternative to none oil. Right. Put them on the dried rack. Yeah. They're not part they're not participating properly, Ug. Ug? Zug. Right. I had a plan. Oh yeah, I was gonna get that, wasn't I? Um I know what I was doing. I totally know what I was going on. This. I tried this. Strong tone. Oh yeah. I thought I'd try some Stog Tone from uh, the uh, Army Painter Quick Shade. See what it was like. It's all right. It's like it's like um, Agrax Earth Shade, except it's a bit darker. Do it. Um. Not not as much as you think it would, to be honest. Maybe not a night time. Maybe half a bottle on a night time. But it goes a long way. Shockingly, Games Workshop paints do go a long way, even though they come in like the tiniest of bottles. I don't think I've yeah, ever replaced last. like this one because you don't you don't use very much. I, mean, you know, I think the only ones I've ever really gotten through are like Mephiston Red and Balthazar Gold. I tend to go through like the Zandri Dusts and like oh, yeah. the Rhinox Hide and Mournfang uh, Brown. Mournfang Brown because they're just like, you know, generic browns that you use a lot of. Yeah. Because you paint a lot of brown when you're painting people. Apparently people are mostly made of brown. <laughs> Sounds wrong, doesn't it? Uh, I unfortunately am going to have to wander off at the allotted time. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I, shall, uh, I shall see you all Tuesday for some... Uh, probably satisfactory. Probably. You never know, we might see Zug build something live. Now he's practicing. Oh. Man, well what I'm practicing for is so that when we have the trains when we get to the train plan, yeah. I can literally fuck off and build all the manufactorums around the smelters and get things ready to actually be picked up by the train. Yeah. That's why I'm that's why I was trying to learn how to do it properly. It's, it's learn, try to learn to do it, really. It's no proper. It's just Yeah. The thing about it is it's just making something that works. But anyway, I am actually quite pleased with them. They look really yeah, yeah, quite man. they look alright, don't they? They look lovely. I yeah, I need to wander off now, so I'll let you do the wrap up, man. So I yeah, shall uh, yeah, catch yeah. you guys you later. Yeah, so there we go. Skeletons painted to go with their abomination friends. I guess, I guess the question is what to be paint. Thank you, thank you. I guess what to paint next. I don't know. Should we do orcs? Uh, hold on, let's see what options we got. Let's see what options we got. Hold on, let me let me get the let me get the thing out. Box. Oh box of it's like box of sweets, except it's box of models. Right. So, uh, all right. I'm actually getting a massive tray of stuff out. So, let me just move this aside because we're not doing more painting today. No more painting today. Right. So. Choices. <laughs> so just found these guys. Actually, I think they're looking quite thematic, really. You can see I've painted them. 
anyway, um, so we've got we got these guys who are like the Chaos Warrior guys. We've got like four of them. That's one choice. We got the Gargoyle, who probably won't make a, a video on his own. Because they might do actually, it depends how I paint them. And then we got because this is like this is like Hero Quest in the modern era. We've got like an orc. We got another orc. Axe orc, sword orc, and then you got Lady Orc. So we got Orcs. I'm tempted, I'm, I'm going towards the Orcs, but maybe not. And then we've got That's what we got, and then we've got. I oh know, we've got maybe well, actually, actually what we've got is we got the lady orcs, we've got the lady orcs because you can tell because they got lady bits, and then they've got <laughs> lady bits, <laughs> fucking. I'll tell you what we'll do. I reckon. I reckon the plan, right? These two will be a set. So, like, we'll do like the dude who's in charge and this guy together. They'll be like a pair. And then we've got the lady orcs, and then we've got the male orcs. So, and then we got the we got gobos as well. We got gobos, which are quite endearing. And you've got six of those two lady gobos and like some more male gobos and that's it really so i guess the options and obviously we got like four of these guys so yeah i, I think he's a lich yeah he's a lich thing yeah i think he's uh he looks fairly pallid doesn't he don't know, so look at his little face. Ah! Yep. So we got those. So I don't know what to go for next because we're kind of at the next. Oh, actually, I tell a lie. I, I didn't deliberately lie to you. Promise. And then we've got. It's all a bit weird. I think. I think they're lady zombies. Really, it's quite bright. Yeah. yeah. And then we got like mummies. Mummies and zombies. So I think we'll take a bit of a break from the undead. I don't know if they're like lady zombies. I don't think so. I think they're just zombies. It's hard to tell. So, so what do you think? What do you think? What what should we do next time? Because I have to put it in the description. <laughs> we, so I think we got female orcs, male orcs, goblins. Because I could do six goblins in a single session, I reckon. And then we got the chaos warriors. That's it, really. Anyone have a preference, or do I just pick? Because I don't care. I'll paint them in any order you want. Orcs. No, 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 I'll go with that. Lady Orcs. Yeah, three models type. Spawn I am. Orcs, Lady Orcs, or Men Orcs. Lady Orcs or Male Orcs. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll let Wondering pick the, 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 the sex. Pick the sex. Yeah, oh yeah. Wondering, 
Male or female? Male or female? Not you, obviously. That's <laughs> just Wonder who doesn't mind. Whatever. If not, I'll just flip a coin. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really mind. Anyway, but yeah, there is plenty, plenty to stream. Yeah, that's why I bought this, you see, because this is why I wanted to do it. Not forgetting this furniture as well. The, the best bit of Hero Quest, you know, the tiny furniture. We've got that to paint as well. I haven't finished with, I, we're not by no means done. We've got bookshelves and we've got tombs and we've got oh desks, chairs. It's gonna be crazy times, crazy times. Actually, to be honest, a lot of that stuff's probably just gonna be dry brush, but that's fine. Well we're gonna do some sort of orc. So that's that's the plan. Orc. Yeah, they're not, I don't know, they might be all right. They're just different colored books, I guess. All right, put that away. Get the models out for the final rummage. So, um, cool, okay. Well, I'm gonna say thank you very much for uh, joining uh, joining me for today. It's been the most excellent. Yeah, 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 we've got, oh yeah, there's gonna be a variety of uh, the books. Oh, we're painting all sorts of colored books. Don't worry. Um, I don't think the bookshelves are that populated with books though. But um, yeah, but thanks for joining me this Sunday. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did and you haven't already and you are watching or you're in some sort of VOD or some sort of parallel universe and you have watched this far and you haven't already, like to subscribe, ring the bell, yada yada. All the standard stuff. Goblins. Uh, we're going orcs first. We're going orcs first. I did goblins after the orcs. But it's, it's the mostly the choice. You've got to pick male or female, wondering. Male or female. That's your choice. You've got a week to make your mind up, though. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. I'll keep hassling you about it. <laughs> goblins. Not goblins yet. Um, so, um, I will, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will see you on Tuesday. Have a good week and uh, the rest of your weekend. Don't get hurricaned or anything like that. Stay safe. Duck and cover. That's the correct advice, isn't it? Duck and cover. So, um, Lady Orcs, decision made. I love it. Okay, right. With that being said, until the next time, take it easy. Bye. Whoa, that was loud. <laughs>